Hey, what's up guys? It's Corey here with Dapper Dollars, and today we're gonna to talk about how to take over any niche. You ready? Let's get started. All right, now before we get started, remember to like and subscribe. If you're new here, this channel is all about using Merch by Amazon and investing to create personal financial freedom. And that is what I'm all about. I'm all about making sure that you guys use this Merch by Amazon opportunity to make the passive income to pay off your debts, save for financial freedom, invest wisely, and eventually not have to work your nine to five. If you don't already and you're just doing merch full time, then that's amazing. You achieve the dream. If not, then this is the place for you. And I can't wait to hear all the success stories that come out of this. And I'm just so pumped up for everything that's happening. Now, let's get over, let's go and get started on how to take over any niche in Merch by Amazon. Now, whenever you're doing this, you need to make sure that this niche is worth taking over. You don't need to go after niches that just don't really matter. Like if you're going after the teacup, chihuahua, teacup chihuahuas in October niche, you might have three designs until you take over that entire niche. You need to make sure that this niche that you're going after is worth taking over. And those requirements are all the designs on the first page have below an 800,000 BSR. That means most of those designs are selling once, if not twice a week. Now, it would be preferable if it was around 300 BSR, 300,000 BSR, because that means they're selling one to maybe two a day. That is ideal, but below 800 for all of the designs on the first page is acceptable. Now, make sure there are sub niches. Make sure that whenever you go into this niche, that it's at least a general niche, that there are sub niches. So with if you've been following this channel or if you're new to this channel, I am in most of the awareness niches. Autism awareness, mental health awareness, uh, breast cancer awareness, I'm getting into the pancreatic cancer awareness, but these all have sub niches. So autism awareness shirts for teachers, autism awareness shirts for moms, autism awareness shirts for sisters, these are all these are all sub niches of the overall autism awareness niche. And this helps because like in the previous videos that I've done, and I'll link that down below on how to uh, effectively keyword and how to rank shirts, you need to be able to use these sub niches to get traction for your shirts and eventually rank them on the first page for the general niche that you're going after. So autism awareness, if you start out going after autism awareness shirts for sisters, but it's a general autism awareness shirt, you can eventually rank that shirt on autism awareness shirts for sisters, and then just change the keywords in that shirt and it rank, until it ranks on the first page for the general autism awareness shirt niche where you will get three sales a day. This is the ultimate goal. So when you go into these new niches, you need to make sure that this niche is worth taking over. And do you understand this niche? Do you understand what designs you need to bring to this niche to make it better? So for, again, for the awareness niches, a lot of what these niches require to grow and what people are looking for are different sayings. They're not looking for like a dabbing dog or anything like that. This isn't a illustration heavy niche, which is great for me because I don't focus on a lot of illustrations. I focus on a lot of catchphrases I focus on a lot of just very simple vector art that has to be added to shirts and this makes it really inexpensive for me because I'm a one-man show it makes it very inexpensive to take over these niches and to be able to create my own products to put everything out there and eventually take over a niche so you've established that this niche is worth taking over below 800,000 BSR on the first every shirt on the first page Every, there are sub niches for you to go into to help you rank the shirts on the overall niche. And then you understand what makes a design happen on this page. And you know what you can do to bring more designs to it and add to it, whether that's illustrations or sayings. Again, understand what is going to need to, to, need to be added to make these designs work for you. So you need to commit three months at minimum for this to happen because it's not going to be an overnight success. 
a lot of people on Merch by Amazon, they have shiny object syndrome, which is why a lot of people are in like 500 different niches. This isn't the path to success, guys. At least in my opinion and what's worked for me, going in and dominating a niche is really where it makes the most sense for me because you're going to be able to get on the first page of these powerful niches that can get you two to three sales a day per design. This is where the real money is because you're not having to crank out hundreds of designs every month just to get, you know, maybe 10 shirts that sell once a week or something like that. Go after designs and niches that are going to actually make you money. Go after the designs and create those designs in the niches that will get you one to three sales a day. This is what's really going to make the difference, guys. So commit to three months in these in this niche that you're going after three months of nothing but this niche if you're doing it for an awareness month make sure you're designing at least six months out from that niche because you want to give those designs time to get traction start selling have a bsr and that way amazon shows them whenever that actual awareness month happens so six months out from the awareness month that you might be targeting is the great time to start because that'll give you three months to create designs and then three months to rank them. Now, 50 designs at minimum, 50 minimum designs for this niche, unique designs, not, you know, 25 designs on white and then 25 designs on a black shirt. This has to be 50 unique designs at minimum to do this because if you just do a whole bunch of different versions of the same saying it's really not going to be that effective because you don't know if that saying is actually effective for these for this niche so you need to have different sayings you need to have different artwork you need to have it on different color shirts but they need to be 50 unique designs and you need to use ads to promote these like we talked about before and I'll link to the video below about how to use ads to get these designs in front of the right people, because that's what matters. If you get this shirt in front of the right people and it's the right design, then you're going to have success. So let's say you're going after the, well, we'll just do it what I, we'll go with what I'm doing, pancreatic cancer. My, and I admit I am going against my own advice here because I've gotten a little bit of a late start. I just found this niche recently, but I want to give it a shot. And then if anything, I'll just work on pancreatic cancer all of next year and be ready for it whenever it comes next November. So what I'm going to do is start designing a general pancreatic shirt, pancreatic cancer awareness shirt. I'm going to use the keywords for sub niches. So pancreatic cancer awareness shirts for dads, I'm going to put that on Amazon. I'm going, so the general shirt is going to be for pancreatic cancer awareness, but the keywords, this is what's going to help is for pancreatic cancer awareness shirt for dads. This can of course be changed. The design on the shirt cannot be changed. So once this starts to sell on Amazon, on Merch by Amazon because of the ads that I use, because I'm going to use ads to get this shirt in front of those people. So people searching for pancreatic cancer awareness shirts for dads, they're going to see this ad. If they like it, they're going to buy it because it's a general pancreatic cancer awareness shirt. And then as it starts to accumulate a few sales, I'm going to change the title to just a generic pancreatic cancer awareness shirt. And then I'll use the ads again to get it on in front of the people who are looking for just a general pancreatic cancer awareness shirt and until it moves on to the first page. And so that is how it's going to happen for me what I'm going to do. Again, I'm going to put at least 50 designs out there. And this is going to be what gives me the most comprehensive look at what is actually going to work for this niche. What are these people looking for? Are they looking and then whenever shirts start to sell, that's what I'll know. I'll be able to duplicate what's successful and I'll be able to throw out what doesn't work. I'll learn what the fonts are. I'll learn what colors they like. I'll learn what kind of sayings they like. And then it's easier to take over a niche once you actually learn 
the ins and outs of this niche and what they want whenever they're looking for a shirt. So that is how I would suggest that you go about taking over any niche. This is applicable to almost any niche. It doesn't have to be a awareness niche. This can be a niche for horse riders, like equestrian horse trainers. Make sure that, sh make sure that niche at least has below 800,000 BSR, nothing but a below 800,000 BSR on the first page. Make sure that it's got sub niches. Make sure you understand what this niche actually needs to keep growing. And then just duplicate this process. Dedicate three months, put out at least 50 designs, put the ads behind these designs to make sure they get in front of people. And then again, I'll put the link below for the video that I did just outlining how I make these ads below. So I hope that helps guys and I'm really looking forward to hearing which niches y'all go into. If you want to share that, I know it's a, it's a little bit taboo for some people to share their niches. They, you know, because a lot of people go after obscure niches, they don't want to give it away because if more than two people find out about their niche, then it becomes saturated. And again, that's why I encourage you to go after these bigger niches because the more people that are in it, it's not really that big of a deal. And it, the fact that it's such a big niche usually discourages people from going after it. So that leaves you with the opportunity. But anyway, I know you're gonna do great. And just remember, like and subscribe. This really helps because it grows the channel. Also incentivizes me to actually want to do this for you guys. Just knowing that you're engaged and knowing that you like it really helps me out. And of course, I love to get to know you. So if you have any questions, concerns, put them in the comments below. Hope you guys have a great day. And just remember, someone's going to do something great every day, guys. Why not you? See ya.